everyone, today we're going to learn all about decomposing shapes into fractions. All right, let's dig in. So this first problem, I've chosen a square and I have chopped it up into how many equal parts? Okay, great. Four. So what fraction can I call the shaded portion? Okay, awesome. One out of four, so one fourth. Okay, now I want to see if you can think of a way to cut this other square. I made a congruent square. Do you know what the word congruent means? Okay, you may be making some guesses. It means that it's the same size, same shape. So it's a square, same size. Now I want to see if we can cut it up differently, but still represent four equal parts. See if you can think of a way. Okay, you might have thought of several different ways, which is awesome. So you might have thought of, okay, well we can have strips like this. Okay, not my most perfect drawing ever, but if I shade it in this, it represents one fourth and they're equal parts. Okay, let's see if we can come up with another way because you might have been thinking of something a little different. So I'm going to try to make the same congruent square and you might have thought of something like this. This one's cool. Are those all congruent pieces, equal pieces. Yes, they are. So I could shade one of them and it also represents one fourth. Great job. Okay, so now I've drawn two different uh, trapezoids for you to see if you can figure out which one of these is correct, uh, doing this the correct way. So my uh, trapezoid A is broken up I cut it up like this and shaded the middle. Okay, uh, trapezoid B, I cut it up into triangles and shaded the middle triangle. So which one do you think correctly represents one third? Breaking up a shape into three pieces and shading in one of those pieces. What do you think? Look for the one that has equal areas. Okay, ding, 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 you got it. B, choice B is the correct one because it has three equal triangles and one of them is shaded. What makes A incorrect? Okay, a lot of you are saying, well, that's not the same shapes. You know, this one's a triangle, triangle, rectangle. And so this is definitely much bigger than the other pieces and not the same type of area. So um, it is not going to represent one third. To be a fraction, we've got to have equal parts. All right, I got one more problem for you. You're getting really good at understanding what these uh, decomposed shapes are all about. It's all about finding equal areas so that we can name it a fraction. So let's take a look at this one. We are looking at two different kites. We've got Aaron's kite and Greg's kite. And I wanna know which one of these statements is not true. So let's read through these. A says Aaron's kite shows one half of the area shaded. What do we think about that one? Look at my kite. Is that representing one half? Okay, yes it is. But we want to keep going because we're looking for something that is not true. Okay, so that is true. All right, B. The shaded parts have the same shape, but different areas. OK, 
Okay, so let's look at these shaded parts. Are they the same shape but different areas? Oh, you might be thinking that one seems a little off. Both of them, what fraction is Greg's kite showing? Oh, okay. Well, that's also showing half of the shape, so it sounds like they might have the same areas. Well, let's put a little star next to this one. I always like to do that when I'm uh, kind of leaning towards a, a choice, but I want to double check the rest of the choices. Okay, C says Greg's kite shows one half of the area shaded. Oh, we just discovered that. Yes, it does, so it can't be C. And then D says the shaded parts are different, but have equal areas. So do the parts look different? Yes, they look different. But is it the same area, the same amount of the rhombus? Yes. Okay, so we can't choose that one. It must be B. Okay, great job.